Thank you for the visit. PsyQ is science made simple for the rest of us. Enjoy. Isn't it great to live in the wealthiest country on the planet? Well, if you ask a homeless veteran that question, don't be surprised by his or her blank stare, because they are not feeling the generosity, appreciation, or wealth of the nation that they served. Although flawless counts are impossible to come by, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, estimates that 39,471 veterans are homeless on any given night. Approximately 12,700 veterans of Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation New Dawn were homeless in 2010. In addition to the complex set of factors influencing all homelessness, extreme shortage of affordable housing, livable income and access to health care, a large number of displaced and at-risk veterans live with lingering effects of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and substance abuse, which are compounded by a lack of family and social support networks. Additionally, Military occupations and training are not always transferable to the civilian workforce, placing some veterans at a disadvantage when competing for employment. A top priority for homeless veterans is secure, safe, clean housing that offers a supportive environment free of drugs and alcohol. Roughly 20 veterans a day commit suicide nationwide, according to new data from the Department of Veterans Affairs. In the latest year where statistics were available, more than 7,400 veterans took their own lives, accounting for 18% of all suicides in America. Veterans make up less than 9% of the U.S. population. About 70% of veterans who took their own lives were not regular users of VA services. The new data, released publicly, is the most comprehensive suicide study ever conducted by the department. The new study includes more than 50 million veterans' records from 1979 to 2014, including every state. Is this really the way we express our thanks to those who served our country and who were prepared to give all for it? We spend 55% of our discretionary budget to create weapons of war and to send our soldiers into harm's way, yet we seem to be broke when we bring them home, wounded, broken, lost, and stuck with no soft place to land. Do we really want this behavior to be a part of our national identity? It just feels like we could do better than that. When we tuck in our children at night, all snug in their beds, it might be wise to remember that our soldiers are part of what has kept this nation safe, so we can enjoy that luxury. If we say thank you for your service, but a homeless suffering veteran hears you say screw you for your service, is there any wonder that they hear it that way? Basically the way we behave towards our wounded warriors tells them to find a hole to crawl in at night or to just kill themselves. That is scary. I can't see how the richest nation on earth could treat its people that way, much less its veterans. Does thinking about the kind of nation that we are allowing ourselves to become scare you as much as it does me? I really hope it does, because when we fear becoming a nation that turns a blind eye to our suffering brothers and sisters who proudly wore our nation's uniforms, then maybe as a nation, we will begin to address the problem. When our soldiers join the service they are as full of hopes, dreams and life as anyone. When they come home, after leaving their souls on the battlefield, only to be discarded like yesterday's trash, that tells a story of hypocrisy. The words that come from our mouths are thank you for your service, but our behavior betrays those words as something other than genuine. If a friend puts their life on the line for a friend, a true friend would be deeply grateful. Our veterans are our true and trusted friends, despite their situations. I would hope, in the wealthiest nation on the planet, that we would find a way to express our gratitude in more than just a catchphrase. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more releases from PsyQ.